shock troops with mechanized equipment turn towards the shore in battle. And the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. The Marines are on their way to Benghazi. U.S. Marine commandos reclaim control of a ship being held hostage by pirates off the Somali coast. When I was down for six days behind enemy lines, it was the 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit from the USS Kearsarge that rescued me. It's the MU's ability to self-deploy and rely on no other assets to get to the affected area. It's the MU's ability to support itself. with the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit have evacuated more than 3,000 flood victims from Pakistan and delivered more than 600,000 pounds of relief supplies. We uh, have had 2,200 Marines from the 15th MU responding to the crisis. As of this morning, have evacuated uh, 3,075 people and delivered more than uh, 650,000 pounds of cargo. Amphibious landing craft from the USS Nashville. The Marines have landed. Just 40 in all, few but proud. The 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit, embarked aboard three ships with Amphibious Squadron 11, continues to head toward the coast of mainland Japan to take part in Operation Tomodachi. As you can see, the title America's Expeditionary Force and Readiness entails Marines who are on a daily basis are forward deployed and forward engaged, working closely with our joint and allied partners. When crisis or contingency arise, these same Marines will respond locally, regionally, globally if necessary to accomplish whatever the nation asks.